Hi everyone, uh, this is the get ready with me. I only shower and shave, so not much to do. I don't do any creams or any other things like that. So, And in the shower, naturally, you won't follow, so it's just a shave. I shave almost every day. My skin routine is I'm shaving. I have no lip routine, no eyelash routine, eyebrow routine. No bleaching or anything, no piercing routine, because I don't have any piercings, no uh, tattoo routines, no other rings or or um, things, accessories routine. It's just me. Oh, not so well. Wait, some more. Yeah. I can't tell you. Avec pas routine. So that's reaching 51 the routine, and that's how the cookie crumbles, and this is the glee which I... So let's do this, uh, shame. Uh, this account, TikTok is an entertainment account, so I won't go into daily politics, how pressing they are, uh, only to say as I said in a few videos, the last 12 or so hours, 15 hours. I hope for world peace everywhere. Uh, let nations be free. Let peoples be free. Let aggressive nations go back. Uh, that's all. So I'm not going to touch that subject in the daily news. Of course, I condemn genocide. I don't want any children to be killed. And, well, I, I petitioned my government about that in emails very frequently actually, so I do my part, believe me. Been writing to the government since 97 about rearming Sweden, about honor killings, about the gas issue to save the children and stop all the killing. So I've been doing that for a very long time. So in this channel it's entertainment almost exclusively um, because I think we need that uh, then some, sometimes I comment I mean, like now I comment on the issue but um, I don't go into much detail at this moment in time so let's hope world peace everywhere forever back to uh, my biological existence. What I'm doing is I'm taking this and I'm just shaving. That's basically what I do. Then I take a shower, but as I said, you won't. That part I will always spare you. Um, I have been talking a lot in Swedish about my small but very persistent and very long movie career. I've been in commercials. I've had a main role in a commercial in 06 been in many many commercials as a background actor been many many Swedish TV series and movies so it's 40-45 jobs since 94 actually and one thing when I was 5 but that was not a job you were just participant uh, in a children's program when I was 5 back in 1977 all the way since was 1978 but Anyway, I was born in 1972, so I was five. I don't think even I was six at the time. So there's been a lot of those, and I've been um, uh, I've been uh, meeting some Swedish movie stars. It's been great. Some Swedish, really big. I've been on three big musical acts in Sweden. Robin, who did Dancing on My Own. This song was called Be Mine, I was there one second, gave a kebab to her love interest. I met Swedish House Mafia, although I didn't talk to them, and in um, their mu um, music video uh, with um, The Weeknd, called them Like a Moth to a Flame, from uh, 21, three years ago. And another part of the Swedish House Mafia collective called Vacation, with a great song called... Um, very long time. Z and then Cation. C 
So V C A T A O M. Really great song. I recommend you to go and listen to it. And of course to Mark Bottoms. And, and of course anything made by Robin. Especially dancing on my own and the song Be Mine. They're in my mind they're wonderful, all of them. As artists and as songwriters and their songs. Swedish House Mafia and Robin and of course all the other Swedish artists. So out of work, not in the movie industry, I met Frank Sinatra. I said that in one video before. My mother worked in a gift shop, souvenir gift shop in Grand Hotel Stockholm in 89. She called me and said, now Sinatra, Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr. and Les Miller are here. I rushed over there, I'm 17 at the time. I go to the lobby and um, hotel lobby in front of the front desk. Down come, from the elevator come Frank Sinatra. I'm less than three, seriously, less than three feet from him. And I say, Mr. Sinatra, may I have your autograph, please? Sir? He looks past me like I'm not even there. That's pretty funny because I'm less than three feet. And the big bodyguard, a Swedish guy, who was bigger than an oak tree, he said, maybe tomorrow, in Swedish. And then Sammy Davis Jr. came down, and, uh, but I mean, even to have met, to have been ignored by Sinatra, man, for God's sake. That's a story for the ages, at least for me. Uh, you know, it was special friends with Ronald Reagan and John F. Kennedy, many, many others. Uh, practically all, the whole classic Hollywood was his acquaintances and friends. He was married to Ava Gardner. He sang some of the greatest songs of the last century. Same with Sammy Davis Jr., Mr. Bo Jangles himself. Uh, he came down. Uh, I asked him, Mr. Davis Jr., may I have your autograph, please, sir? He said, with pleasure. That's something I will never forget. This gentle, gentle, insanely talented man. Uh, I got to interact with him for a few seconds. And it's been um, 35 years now, almost. This is fall of 89, so autumn made that. So time has passed by. Of course, there are many other greats. I mean, there's so many of them. And there are many new greats. I think Billie Eilish, Lady Gaga, Lily Rodrigo, Taylor Swift, Adele, all those new ones are already icons early on in their careers. So, and I adore them all, of course, and their uh, music. But, I still must say, Liza Minnelli is Liza Minnelli. Sadly, I missed her. She wasn't there. She was probably in the hotel and probably already uh, left for dinner when I came. But I saw that there was a tour called The Ultimate Event. I bought that VHS tape. And for you kids out there, VHS was a, like this big... Uh, plastic box thingy with another stuff in it and um, um, the tape itself so I bought that it was I saw it so many times it was wonderful they play all you know they they gave the audience what they wanted few new songs but mostly the old classics it was because at the time ticket cost in 89, like something like 10,000 Swedish krona, and that would probably be equivalent of at least $1,250 back then. You do the math. $1,250 in 89, probably around $3,700 today, I would imagine. Somewhere there, maybe even four thousand dollars. No, no, maybe not that much, but still, easily, without breaking a sweat, three thousand dollars today, easily, probably three thousand five hundred. So that was out of my range, <laughs> price range. But to have bought that VHS tape, memory for life. So that's it.